Your novel is at heart a work about identity. You've explored deeply in previous books the question of how do you, can you ever really get out from under the person you used to be? Um, which you're doing again here, but here you're broadening it beyond trans experience. It's a really an issue for it, almost every character in the book. Right. Um, and I'm thinking about Clark, who hates the great Gatsby because it, there's no second chance. <laughs> I, I was going to call the book um, The Lousy Gatsby at one point, <laughs> or, the, or the, the Mediocre Gatsby. Um, uh, but then I thought that probably wouldn't work. And, and then you, and you have uh, Tripper, who rails against the fact that the commission of an unintentional crime at one point in his life becomes like this defining thing. So it's, it's, a, it's an issue for everybody here. Well, I mean, some of this I learned actually from reading y your books, particularly the, the, the most recent one in the darkroom, um, the sense of that question, which you pose so hauntingly that is identity the thing that we can't escape or is it the thing that we that we create um, mm -hmm. and there's a reason why this one character hates the great Gatsby because I think he feels that this is a book in which um, we're told you can't remake yourself that mm -hmm. the past is always pulling you back mm -hmm. and um, uh, I think it, as Americans in particular I think we have this sense that of course we can create ourselves. We can be anything we want to be and um, that the past to. should be, this, this past, the past should not um, determine our, our future. Mm -hmm. um, and yet um, I think, um, as Tim O'Brien says, even in imagination there are limits. And um, mm -hmm. which is not meant to hold anybody back. Um, I think we, that I, I hope that people will see in the book um, uh, a, a celebration of the ways in which people can find their joy and find their um, uh, their and make make their selves, but it comes at a it comes at a cost, um, a, a, and it's it's not easy, and there are s either some things or some people um, that that hold you back, and as much as we want anything on earth to be possible. Not everything always mm -hmm. is, at least not for everyone. Mm -hmm. I think um, there are a lot of things we can change about ourselves, and we can um, we can find our peace through the changes that w that we are able to make, um, the ones that are under our control, um, and through finding the agency to make those changes um, if we can make them. But there is something fundamental and eternal about us that that never changes. And um, I think you'd, what, you'd have to call it soul. You'd have mm -hmm. to say that that um, we are um, we are not the people we have been, but we are still um, guided by the same light inside us. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you look at an eighty year old woman, and um, if you were able to meet the the eight-year-old version of that same woman, uh, you would see two very different people, but you would still be talking to some version of the same person. So what connects those people? Mm -hmm. um, history, experience, tragedy, um, good fortune, if you're lucky. But above all, I think it's soul. There is something in us that is eternal. I know I sound like, you know, like a preacher, uh, but um, I do believe that.